Hello everyone, I am Mary Sanata, working as assistant professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication in Delhi. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the characteristic function, and the moment generating function, and the properties of the characteristic function as well as the moment generating function. So, first, we will see what is characteristic function. The characteristic function is used to find out the moments of a random variable. So, how do you calculate the characteristic function? The characteristic function definition, one more definition is, is like a Fourier transform of the probability density function. So, it is nothing but what? The Fourier transform of the probability density function. For example, if you are having a random variable x, then what is red density function? The probability density function has been represented by fx of x. And the Fourier transform of the probability density function is called as what well, the characteristic function and uh, where instead of minus omega I'll take what plus omega now what is the Fourier transform formula the Fourier transform of a function for example f of t take then what is formula integration minus infinity f of t into e power minus j omega t dt so this is a Fourier transform of a signal f of t now, what is Cartes equation? Nothing but the Fourier transform of what? The probability density function. For example, if you take a random variable x, then what is probability density function has been represented by small f and here capital X represents a random variable and here small x represents a corresponding value of the random variable. So, it's what if for is uh, transform is nothing but what? Integration minus infinity. In place of f of t, now what do you have? The probability density function. Therefore, it's function fx of x into e power minus j omega. Here, the signal is a function of t. That's why you integrate with respect to t. Now, here, the probability density function is a function of x. Then, what do you write down here? e power minus j omega x dx. But, in place of minus omega, here, you take the plus omega for the characteristic function. So, this is the formula for calculating the characteristic function of any random variable. So, this characteristic function is used to calculate the moments of a random variable. Now, here the Fourier transform, what is omega represents? Here omega represents the angular frequency. Nothing but is a frequency component. But in the Characteristic function, this omega is not representing the frequency component. And in the Fourier transform, here you have the minus omega. And in the characteristic function, in place of minus, just with the sign is reversed. Nothing but what? Positive sign of omega. Therefore, the characteristic function of a random variable x has been represented by pi x. Here, what is x represents the random variable? And what is pi represents the characteristic function? The characteristic function of a random variable x has been given by, so it's a function of omega. Here omega is not the frequency component, okay. So it's nothing but what? Expectation of e power j omega x only. So this is the one more definition for the characteristic function. So here, what is e represents? e represents what? The expectation. It is also called as what? Statistical average. Now, if you assume that the random variable here, x is a continuous random variable. Then, how do you write down the expectation of uh, any function? This already have finished in the previous modules. So, expectation of a function g of x is equal to, if in the case of continuous random variable, that is nothing but integration minus infinity g of x into, so whatever the function is there, that function into the density function fx of x dx. So, this is what the expectation of any function. Now, in place of g of x, what do you have now? You have e power j omega x. Then, what is the expectation of e power j omega x? So, integration minus infinity. So, expectation of any function, nothing but that function into the probability density function. So, of what random variable you are calculating for the random variable x. Therefore, you are writing the probability density function for the random variable x, nothing but fx of x dx. So, if you uh, observe this formula. How can you do It is like the Fourier transform formula only. So, nothing but what? Integration minus infinity 
the radius of what f x of x into e power j omega x dx. Therefore, this is a formula for Fourier transform. Therefore, you can write down or you can define the cartesic function as the Fourier transform the probability density function where the omega sign is reverse. And second definition is what? It is nothing but the statistical average. The, the expectation of e power j omega x is called as what? The characteristic function. So, this is a case where you have taken the continuous random variable. And if you take the case of the discrete random variable, discrete nothing but what? It is continuous, it is not continuous nature. It is, uh, it is having some discrete values of x. Therefore, if x is a discrete random variable, then how can you write down the characteristic function pi x of omega equals to what? For continuous integration, nothing but summation. For continuous integration, what? Integration. Whereas for discrete variables, in place of integration, you can take it as what? Sigma. So, sigma i, so e power j omega x here, since it is continuous, in case of discrete random variables, the x is not continuous in range. It is having discrete values like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Therefore, I am taking here in place of x as x i. And here, f x of x i. So, what is f x of x i? is nothing but what? The probability mass function, nothing but P of x equals to x i only. Nothing but what? It is a probability at the value of x equals to x i. Nothing but what? F x of x i, which is also called as what? Probability mass function. Therefore, these are the formulas to calculate the characteristic function of a continuous random variable. And this is the formula to calculate the characteristic function of a discrete random variable. Now, uh, this uh, characteristic function is used to find out what can be calculated. Uh, is used to find out the moments of a random variable. What do you mean by moments of a random variable? M suffix n. So, this already we have seen in the previous lecture. What is M suffix n represents? Represents the nth moment. Nothing but what represents the nth moment. So, this, uh, what are these uh, moments are used to? They are used to calculate the mean, variances, q and all those things. So, in order to calculate that, you can find out that you can use the moments. In order to find out these moments, you can use the characteristic function also. Now, we have seen <coughs> what is a characteristic function is nothing but the Fourier transform of fx of x, nothing but rls expectation of e power j omega x. In the Fourier transform in place of positive or taken the negative sign of the omega. And similarly, if I know the density function, I am calculating the characteristic function. Now, if I know the characteristic function, then how can I calculate the probability density function? How can you do? <coughs> Nothing will suggest the exact reverse process. If you know density function, then the characteristic function can be calculated by taking in Fourier transform. Now, similarly, if you know the characteristic function, how do you calculate the, the density function, the probability density function? By taking what? The reverse process. Nothing but you have to take the inverse Fourier transform. So, what is inverse Fourier transform formula? Of a signal f of omega is nothing but what? 1 by 2 pi integration minus input infinity f of omega into e power j omega t d omega. Similarly, you can calculate the inverse Fourier transform of the characteristic function in place of f of omega. Now I should substitute pi x of omega. Then how can I write down here? f x of x is equals to 1 by 2 pi integration minus infinity inverse Fourier transform which function you are calculating? The characteristic function pi x of omega. So I write down here pi x of omega into actually in the inverse Fourier transform formula f of 1 by 2 pi integration minus infinity f of omega into e power j omega t d omega, positive sign of omega. But in the cardassi function, it will just reverse the sign of the omega. Therefore, in place of positive sign, you will get the negative sign here into what? d omega. Therefore, this is a formula to calculate the probability density function if you know the characteristic function of a random variable. <coughs> Next, you will see the the convergence of the characteristic function. So, if you take a random variable x, then its characteristic function nothing but what? Pi x of omega. Pi is nothing but characteristic function. 
of the random variable x. Therefore, phi x of omega, it will always exist. Nothing more. The characteristic function will always converges or it will always exist for any random variable x. Now, let us prove this uh, convergence of the characteristic function. So, what is the characteristic function phi x of omega equals to what? Expectation of e power j omega x. Now, if I take x is a continuous random variable, then how can I write down the expectation of any function? So, integration minus infinity that function, nothing but what? e power j omega x into the density function. What is the density function of the random variable x? fx of x dx. Now, what I do here? I have to uh, whether find out it is converges or not. Nothing more, it will have the phi at values or not. How do you say that a function is converges or not? Nothing but you should take its mass absolute value. If that value is finite, nothing but less than infinity, then you can say that it is a converges or the characteristic function or the particular function will exist. Now let us uh, find it out. So I am taking the LHS. So what is LHS here? Um, mod of mod is nothing but absolute value only. So, mod of integration minus infinity e power j omega x into fx of x dx. Now, we know one condition. So, what is mod of a b value? It is always less than or equals to mod a into mod b. So, always mod of a b is always less than or equals to what? Mod a into mod b. By using this theorem, you can write down this as what? Uh, mod of integration minus input infinity e power j omega x into fx of x dx. So, this is always less than or equal. Let us say this is a and this is b. So, what is mod of a b is always less than or equal to mod a into mod b. So, nothing but what? Uh, mod of integration minus infinity infinity and here mod of e power minus j omega x into mod of fx of x dx. Let us say this is s, a and this is b. So, mod of a b equals what? Mod a into mod b. That, that implies mod of integration minus infinity infinity e power j omega x fx dx. Nothing but integration minus infinity infinity. Now, what is mod of e power j minus a omega x? What is this value? It's nothing but what? Uh, how can you write uh, e power minus j omega x as what? Cos omega x minus j sin omega x. Now, what is mod of a minus i b? Nothing but square root of a square plus b square. Nothing but square root of the real part square plus what is the imaginary part here? Minus sin omega x. So, minus sin omega x squared. Nothing but what is square root of cos square theta plus sin square theta equals to 1. Therefore, what is mod of e power minus j omega x equals to 1. Therefore, this is value equals to 1. And what you have here? fx of x dx. Okay. Since it is positive, I am writing mod of fx of x as fx of x dx. Now, we have seen the properties of probability density function. From the properties, we have seen that for a valid probability density function, the area under the density function is equal to 1. So, what is the area under the density function? Nothing but integration minus infinity fx of x dx equals to 1. So, what is this value is equal to 1. Therefore, and what is uh, integration minus infinity e power j minus j omega x fx of x dx? Nothing but it is nothing but the characteristic function phi x of omega. So, what can you from that? You can say that what is phi x of omega? Characteristic function. The characteristic function, what is absolute value? It is less than equals to 1. Nothing but is a less than finite. Nothing but is a finite value. Therefore, from this you can say that always the characteristic function converges for any random variable x. Now, I uh, already told you that the characteristic function is used to calculate the nth moment of a random variable x. So, what is the nth moment of a random variable x? What is the formula? Expectation of x power n is called as what? The nth moment 
of random variable. Now, how do you calculate this one? If you place a con continuous random variable, what is the expectation of uh, x power n nothing but integration minus n d x power n into fx of x dx. So here, we are assuming that x the random variable x is a continuous random variable. Now, how you calculate the nth moment? If you know the density function, then you are calculated in the nth moment. For example, if you know the characteristic function, then how do you calculate the nth moment of a random variable x? So mn is equal to what? Minus a power n, d power n, pi x of omega by d omega power n, where omega equals to 0. So what is m suffix n represents? It represents a nth moment about the origin. So we have seen the nth moment about the origin and uh, nth moment about the mean, nothing but the central moments. Both you have finished in the previous lecture. So if you know the probability density function, then you will use this formula to calculate the nth moment. If you know the characteristic function, then this is a formula to calculate the nth moment of a random variable x. So this is mn equals to what? Minus a power n, d power n pi x of omega by d omega power n, where omega equals to 0. So what is the characteristic function actually? Pi x of omega equals to what? Expectation of e power j omega x. If you assume that x is a continuous random variable, then how can I write this as what? Integration. Expectation of any function is that function. Nothing but e power j omega x into the density function fx of x dx. Then equals to integration minus infinity fx of x into how can I write e power j omega x as 1 plus x plus. What is e power x? Can I write as what? 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial and so on. So in place of x, I have j omega x. Then, so 1 plus <coughs> j omega x plus j omega x square by 2 factorial. Okay, plus and so on up to infinity can I guess. So into what you are having here and the dx. That equals to integration minus infinity fx of x into 1 into dx. Nothing but what? fx of x into dx. Plus here j omega by 1 factorial. What is 1 factorial value? 1. So it is constant. Bring it outside. So integration minus infinity infinity x into remaining what is the component you have here? x. So x into fx of x. So x into fx of x dx plus and so on up to infinity. So what is the uh, integration minus infinity fx of x dx from the properties of PDF? We can say that this is the area under the density function. What is the area in the density function is equal to 1. Therefore, what is this value equals to 1? So 1 plus j omega by 1 factorial and uh, what is integration minus infinity x into fx of x dx? Nothing but expectation of what? x, the mean. So, e of x plus similarly for the second one, how do it is as? j omega square by 2 factorial into what you have here? Integration minus infinity infinity x square into fx of x dx. What is x square into fx of x dx? Integration, nothing but e of x square plus and so on up to infinity. It means I am re rewriting this expectation of e by j omega x like this. Then, <coughs> so differentiate both sides with respect to omega. So what is LHS side you are having? Pi x of omega. Then differentiation of pi x of omega with respect to omega, what does it is? So d pi x of omega by d omega is equals to Next differentiation of 1 is 0. So write down here 0 plus. <coughs> here you have differentiate respect to omega. So remaining all these terms are constant. Then how can I write down here? So differentiation of omega with respect to omega is nothing but 1. So remaining what you get here? j into e power of e of x by 1 factorial. So j into e of x by 1 factorial, nothing but 1 only actually. Plus here j square by 2 factorial is constant, e of x square is constant when you are differentiating with respect to omega square. 
Then what a differentiation of omega square with respect to omega is 2 omega. Then write down here uh, j square by 2 factorial into 2 omega into u of x square plus and so on up to infinity you can write down the terms. Now first case I am taking uh, omega equals to 0. Then what can you obtain here? d pi x of omega by d omega when omega equals to 0. And here, this is 0, here it is a constant, write down here, j into e of x. Plus, when you substitute omega value 0, remaining all those things are 0. So, you are getting as 0. From this, what is e of x equals to 1 by j into d pi x of omega by d omega when omega equals to 0. This is nothing but what? The first moment about the origin. What is m n? Expectation of x for n. If n equals to 1, m1 nothing but u of x, nothing but mean only. And similarly, so differentiate the equation 1 with respect to omega once more. Then what do you get here? Differentiation of pi x, so d pi x of omega d omega with respect to omega. You will get what? d square pi x of omega by d omega square is equals to the first term is 0, so 0 plus the second term is not a function of omega. Therefore, the second term gets 0 and in the third term, you are differentiated with respect to omega. And then what do you get here? j square, 2 factorial and 2 will be cancelled. Then what do you get here? And differentiation of omega is nothing but omega 1. So into what you are having? u of x square plus and so on up to infinity. Now substitute omega equals to 0. Then what can you obtain here? d square pi x of omega by d omega square at omega equals to 0. So the first term is 0, second term is 0 and remaining terms whenever omega is there, they are becoming 0. So except the third term remaining all are 0. Then what can you obtain here? j square u of x square. So that implies what is u of x square is equals to 1 by j square into d square pi x of omega by d omega square when omega equals to 0. So from this what can you observe? What is u of x m1 equals to 1 by j d pi x of omega by d omega at omega equals to 0. Then if you want to calculate the second moment about the origin. Nothing but what? m2. What is m2 equals to u of x square equals to 1 by j square d square pi x of omega by d omega square at omega equals to 0. Therefore, for any value of n, how can you write the equation? mn equals to what? 1 by j. What is 1 by j value? Here, nothing but minus j. So, 1 by j, nothing but what here? Then nothing but minus j only. So, here minus j power square. Therefore, minus j power n, d power n pi x of omega by d omega power n at omega equals to 0. So, first you differentiate the catastrophic function and then you substitute omega equals to 0. Then, you get the corresponding the nth moment. If you want the first moment, differentiate only once. If you want the second moment, differentiate two times. If you want third moment, differentiate three times and then substitute omega equals zero. Then you can obtain the nth moment of the origin. Now, let us see the properties of the catastrophic function. What is the first property states that the catastrophic function has a maximum value one at omega equals to 0. So, what is the catastrophic function? Nothing but pi x of omega equals to, what is its definition? Expectation of e power j omega x. Now, at omega equals to 0, it implies substitute omega equals to 0. So, pi x of 0 equals to what? Expectation of e power j into 0 into x, nothing but e power 0. It's nothing but expectation of 1. So, what is expectation of one? Expectation nothing but the average unit, the statistical average. What is the average of any constant? The constant itself. Therefore, the characteristic function is having the maximum value at origin. That is nothing but in like this, now you can write pi x of omega is always less than or equals to pi x of 0. That is nothing but 1. So, the catastrophic function will have the maximum value at the origin. That is the first property of the catastrophic function. 
and what is the second property states that for real omega mod of pi x of omega less than or equals to 1. So this already have proved actually. So what is the capacity function pi x of omega equals to expectation of p power j omega x. Now if you assume that x is a continuous random variable then how can you find write down the expectation of any function. So integration minus infinity that function nothing but p power j omega x into density function. What is the proper density function of the random variable x? fx of x dx. Now you should take the absolute value. So first I am taking the LHS side. So I am taking only the LHS side. Then take the absolute values mod of pi x of omega is equal to what? Mod of integration minus infinity e power j omega x f of x dx. Now how can you write mod of a b c plus a c nothing but mod of a b is always less than or equals to mod a into mod b. By using the, uh, this theorem we can write down this as what? So it's always always less than or equals to what? Integration minus infinity. The other side, this is a and this is p. So mod of e power j omega x into mod of fx of x dx. That equals to and what is uh, mod of e power j omega x the previously has in that value equals to 1. So nothing but 1 into mod of fx of x nothing but fx of x dx. And what is integration minus fx of x dx that is nothing but the area under the density function that value is equal to 1. Therefore, for real value of omega always the classic function is always less than or equal to 1. And the third property is a symmetry property. So, what is this property states that pi x star here what is star indicates the complex conjugate. The complex conjugate of the characteristic function is nothing but the reversal of the characteristic function. So, what is the characteristic function actually? pi x of omega equals to expectation of p power j omega x. Now take the complex conjugate on both sides then what can you obtain here? Expectation of p power j omega x and then whole star. Now if you assume that it is a uh, continuous random variable then how can you write down the expectation integration minus infinity e power j omega x into fx of x dx. In case of for discrete random variable in place of integration or identity or summation. So whole star. So that equals to integration minus infinity infinity. So what is the expectation of uh, what is complex conjugate of e power j omega x is e power minus e omega x. And what is the uh, result that the density function is a real function. So then what can you obtain here? Then the fx star of the complex conjugate of the density function is equal to this real fx of x only. Therefore, fx of x dx. Equals to what? So, what is if you are having e power j omega x and fx of x, it is nothing but pi x of omega. In place of plus omega, we are having what? Minus omega. Then what can I write in here? Pi x of minus omega. This is the third property. And what is the fourth property states, sir? The characteristic function cannot be always purely imaginary, it may be real value also. Because at the origin, what is that value is equal to? It means always it may not be imaginary, it may be real value also. And what is the fifth property states that if pi x of omega is a characteristic function of a random variable, then the characteristic function of the random variable x when omega equals to c omega is equals to what? pi c x of omega. So what is the characteristic function formula? pi x of omega equals to expectation of p power j omega x. Now in place of omega replace it by c omega. Then what can write down here? a power j in place of omega write down c omega. So c omega into x. So that equals to expectation of p power j into omega into cx. I can rewrite this equation like this. If you are having x, you are writing pi x of omega. In place of x, now we have cx. Therefore, I can write this as pi cx of omega. That is the property of the characteristic function. And in the next six property states that if pi x of omega is a characteristic function of a random variable x, then the characteristic function of 
the random variable y. Nothing but how we are getting the random variable by transformation. And is now monotonic transformation. So y equals to what? ax plus b is given by pi xy of omega equals to what? e power j omega b into pi x of a into omega. It means this is pi y of omega. The characteristic function of the new random variable y is equals to what? e power j omega into pi x of a omega. Now, uh, pi y of omega, what is the characteristic function of the random variable? You put is x, I am writing here x. It is y, write down it as y. Then uh, that equals to expectation of e power j omega into what is y equals to x plus b because they are given y equals to x plus b. So it equals to expectation of e power j omega into ax into what you are having e power uh, x plus y is equals to what? e power x into e power y. In the same way, right here, e power j omega x into e power j omega b. The expectation is always find out with respect to the random variable. So, it is a constant. So, bring it outside. Then, how do I write this as e power j omega into expectation of e power j omega into x. So, this is nothing but the RHS. Therefore, the classic function of the random variable y equals to x plus b is given by pi y of omega equals to what? e power j omega into pi x of now, in the, nothing but what? e power j omega b into pi x of. In place of omega, if you have here omega, pi x of omega. But in place of omega, now I have a omega. So, I don't hear as what? a omega. So, it means if you know the characteristic function of the random variable x, you can directly write down by using this formula, calculate the characteristic function of the random variable y. <coughs> And next property is if x1 and x2 are two independent random variables, then the characteristic function of the sum of those two independent random variables is equal to the, the characteristic function of the random variable x1 plus the characteristic function of the random variable x2. Now we have to prove this one. What they are given here, x1 and x2 are independent random variables. So if x1 and x2 are independent random variables, then what is uh, characteristic function fx1 x2 of x1 comma x2 is equal to what? fx1, what is density function? The joint property density function is equal to the, the marginal density function. So fx1 of x1 into fx2 of x2. So this theorem already we know that. Now let us prove that pi x1 plus x2 of omega that equals to expectation of what is the characteristic function pi x of omega equals to expectation of e power j omega x. If x is there, I am writing here x. Now in place of x, what do you have here? x1 plus x2. Therefore, we can write down this as here e power j omega into x1 plus x2 into omega. So, you expectation of e power j omega into x1 plus x2. So, that equals to expectation of e power j omega x1 into e power j omega x2. So, what they are given here? They are given that these two are independent random variables. Then how can you write this as? Expectation of e power j omega x1 into expectation of e power j omega x2. When can you write? When you can write only in the case of independent random variables. Because the independent random variables, the joint density function is equal to the product of the uh, marginal density functions. So, from this definition, you can write down. Then, what is expectation of e power j omega x1? Nothing but pi x1 of omega into pi x2 of omega. Therefore, the characteristic function of the sum of two independent random variables is equal to the product of the characteristic function of the corresponding two independent random variables. And the similar manner, next function you are going to study is what? Moment generating function. The moment generating function is also used to calculate the moments of a random variable. And uh, what is the cutest function you have seen of a random variable x? Pi x of omega equals to expectation of e power j omega x. 
Now, if you take j omega equals some variable, let us say u, you can take any variable, here I am taking as u, I can take v also. Then, <coughs> what can you obtain here? Expectation of v power vx. So, what is omega equals to u by g? So, this is called as what? Moment generating function mx of u. Example, you take here u, so I don't hear u. Therefore, the classic function is equal to the moment generating function when, when j omega equals to u. What is the relation between those two? Pi x of omega equals to nothing but the classic function is equal to the moment generating function mg of moment generating function if j omega equals to u. So, in the similar manner, how you are defining the classic function, you can define the moment generating function. So, if x is a random variable, in the moment generating function has represented what m mix of u. x is a random variable here. m is a moment generating function, is a function of a variable u. So, mx of u equals to what? Expectation of v power u x. In case of discrete random variable, how do you find out the statistical average? Take the sigma. Sigma equals 1 to n, v power u x i into the corresponding probability mass function. Nothing but what? Nothing but fx of x i only. The probability is function at x equals to x i, which is called as what? The probability mass function. In the case of continuous random variable, then how can I do the moment of the function f of u equals to what? Integration minus infinity infinity. So, e power u x into the density function f of x dx. And uh, now we are done the convergence property characteristic function. Let us see the convergence of the moment generic function. What we have seen, the catastic function will always converges for a random variable x. Let us see whether the moment of the function will exist or not, converges or not. So, we now to that, how do you find out the convergence of a function? This mod of f of x should be less than infinite. This is a condition for convergence. So, find out the mod or absolute value of the moment of the function mx of u nothing but mod of integration minus infinity e power u x into phi x of x dx. Now, what is mod of a b nothing but is always less than or equal to mod a into mod b. Now, what is this value? So, what is this value? If, for example, mod of e power u x is finite. If mod of e power u x is finite, then what is this value? fx of x dx is equal to 1. Let us, this is equal to some constant c. Then what do you get here? c into 1. Nothing but c. So, when it is, if and only if mod of e power u x is finite, then only the moment and function exists. But the cardiac function will always exist. The moment and function, and can you say that? What is condition you can say that? This condition you can say. Mod of e power u x is value is less than infinity yeah, it is a finite value then you can say that the moment generating function can be exist and how we are calculated the catastrophic function and uh, the moment similarly if you know the moment generating function you can calculate the nth moment of the other uh, variable x so what is the formula for that mn d power n mx of u by du power n at u equals to zero if i want the first moment then what can you write down here d mx of u by du at u equals to 0. If I want to cut the second moment, u of x square is equals to d square mx of u by d square at u equals to 0. Like that, you can calculate the nth moment of the variable x if you know the moment generating function. Let us uh, see the properties of moment generating function. What is the first property? The same property as seen as the catastrophic function also. The cardiac function value is maximum at omega equals 0. Similarly here, the moment generating function maximum value at u equals to 0. So, what is the moment generating function mx of u equals to expectation of v power u x. Substitute u equals 0 because you are calculating the origin. So, e power 0 nothing but what? Expectation of what is expectation of 1. Therefore, the moment generating function at the origin is equals to 1. So, it is always a maximum value. And the second one, the moment generating function of the random variable x, then the moment generating function of the random variable y equals to kx is nothing but mx of ku. So, what is the moment generating function of the random variable x? mx of u equals to 
expectation of p power u into x. Then, uh, uh, what do I want? I want the moment of function of the random variable y. So, young y of u is equals to what? In place of x, so just replace it by y. So, request the expectation of p power u into what is y they have given? k into x. That equals to expectation of p power k into u into x. Now, if you have u, I am writing mx of u. In place of u, what I have here? k u. Therefore, nothing but what? mx of random variable x. So, mx of k u. And next, uh, third property is if x1 and x2 are independent random variables, then the moment and the function of the sum of those two independent random variables is equal to the product of plus here it is a product product of the moment and function of the two random variables. So let us see now. So what do you have here? Mx of u is equal to what? Expectation of e power u x. Now in place of x, what I'm having here? x1 plus x2. Then what can I write down here? X, uh, mx1 plus x2 of u is equal to expectation of e power u into in place of x what do you have here x1 plus x2 and equals to expectation of e power u into x1 into e power u into x2. What is the condition they are given that they are independent random variables. If they are independent random variables then how can I done this as? So expectation of e power u into x1 into expectation of e into e power u into x2. Nothing but what? In place of x, I have now x1. Then how can I run this as mx1 of u into. In place of x, I have here x2. So mx2 of u. Therefore, the moment generated function of sum of two independent random variables is equal to the product of the moment generated function of the individual random variables. And what is the fourth property states that if x is a random variable, uh, then if the moment generating function mx of u, then the moment generating function of the random variable y is equal to x plus b is e power b u into mx of a. Now, what is uh, m y of u equals to the but expectation of e power u in place of x you having y. So, e power u into y. But what is y they have given? u into a x plus b. That equals to expectation of e power u a x into if because e power x plus y cos e power x into e power y. Similarly here also. e power u x plus e power u, u b. Nothing but here e power u b. But uh, uh, what they are given here. So uh, here y equals x plus b. Then the moment generated function of the random variable y. Nothing but e power b u into mx of a u. Okay. Now what is here. The moment of function, the function of u. So it is a constant, is it right? The expectation always will find out with respect to the random variable. Here, which is a random variable? X is a random variable. And u is a moment of function variable. X is a random variable. So when you are finding the expectation, it is not a function of x. So it is a constant. So bring it outside. Then how can I write down this as? E power u b into expectation of e power. What do you have here? U a into x u r a u into x that equals to nothing but pi y of u is so not pi this is nothing but moment generating function young y of u is equals to e power u b into now what is uh, mx of u equals to expectation of e power u x now in place of u i'm having a u and how can i this as what m x of a u so like that, you can calculate the moment and function of here at transformed random variables also. So in today's class, we have discussed about what is catastrophic function, the convergence of the catastrophic function. Later, we have seen the properties of the catastrophic function. And then we have extended concept of moment generating function. We have seen the definition of the moment generating function. And then we have seen how to find out the nth moment if you know the moment generating function. And later, we have seen the properties of moment learning function thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon
FOMO UPDATES